Glad we finished spreading the fertilizer yesterday, but it's not rained yet. Now it is windy, so we wouldn't have been able to do it effectively today, but it was supposed to be raining all day, washed it all in, but I'm sure we're gonna get it this afternoon. It also means though, I can wash the spreader off today without getting soaked from above. Just soaked from what splashes back off the jet wash. Olivia, you ready? Olivia's doing a dog run. Just at Delamere Forest, which is a forest not far from me, where Olivia's doing a can cross. So it's basically running with your dog, cross country running. So her and her mum are just doing a, a lap now through the forest. It should take them about 20 minutes. So I'll go and catch them at the end. Six, Six minutes? Six minutes. And you said 15. No wonder I missed it in the car. There you go. What did you do, Olivia? I won. There you go. What did the dog win? Yeah, the dog won. Yeah, so Susie said it'd take them. 15 to 20 minutes, it took them six and a half. So I was sat in the car warming up and missed the end. Oh, nice. <laughs> now Olivia's uh, building dents and I'm out of breath because I've been running with boots on. So this beast, 05 MI16. Oh, blip the throttle. It's a blip the throttle. Rob's come to borrow the Merlot, but he's coming as MI16. Track car. There we go. 1.9, 16 valve. Is that developed by still, yeah? As in the chainsaws? Must have been, mustn't it? Got a full cage in it as well. Just for if you bin it on a track. I'm on a different Merlot to yesterday and the fuel light's on on this one as well. So I better put some fuel in it so Rob doesn't run out. Let's go and move in a hen shed. It's got the 936, we brought the digger up to the other farm. So we've kind of inherited this pile of, we don't quite know what. It's made mostly soil, bricks, hardcore and rubbish. So Andrew's got the riddle bucket on, so dead simple. It's just a bucket with holes in it. And you scoop it up, shake it, and it riddles it out. And then once we've riddled the big chunks out into that pile, and the fine to that pile, we'll bring the other bucket with the smaller screens that spins round, and then we'll screen the fine stuff then. But we're gonna try and get all the hardcore out of it first. Look. Sorry if it's a bit windy. You just shake the soil out. Once the soil's out, what should be left in the bucket should just be like big bricks and big lumps of stone. There's all sorts here. It's like just been left and just dozed up out of the way. So we're going to have a good tidy up of it. We thought it was going to be raining, so we just thought it was a job to do in the rain inside a cab. So yeah, just a few bricks left in that. Concrete flags, a bit of sandstone. It'd be better off really filling the bucket, not quite as much, and then you can shake it easier. Without it like splashing out. The bucket with the star screens in it'd be mint at it, but because there's some huge stones in it, we don't want to damage it and lumps of concrete. Probably a bit better with Nick's big digger axe if he's got a bigger bucket on it. I know what everyone's gonna say. Why didn't we bring the big screener up here? Well, the screener weighs 28 ton. It won't go on this low loader because this is only like 20 ton. And it cost us probably 200 pounds to move it a couple of miles up the road, 200 pounds to move it back. We then still gotta have a digger here doing it. So we may as well just set two of this. If we decide it's gonna to take too long, we'll give up and we'll just cart the whole lot back to the other yard, screen it, and then put the stone where we want it and the soil where we want that. But for now, 
he's going to have a do today and tomorrow and see how much he can get through. And it looks funny that. Digger looks left hand drive when I'm looking at the screen. He's uh, he's got to go pick his girlfriend up from work, so he's going to bring it down off the pile. A bit of wire there going around the track. Hopefully it won't tangle into anything. There's all sorts in there. Scrap, stone, got a bit of wood, cobbles, there's a bit nice lump of sandstone, brick, old ladder. Just run up on the pile. This is what's behind it, you see. The pond that he was mowing around the other week. So we want to clear all this out of the way so it gets a bit more light into the pond. Maybe extend it a little bit as well. This is where Andrew mowing the other day, and look at that, the snowdrops have come through already. It's really clear the water though. See to the bottom. Just back in a car now where it's warm. That door, I really like the fact that it's wood coloured, but over time it'll fade and go grey. So do you think I should paint it with like a clear lacquer? Or like an oil? What, what, I don't know, what do people think? I like that colour wood but I don't like it when they go grey. This is the bucket that we're thinking of taking up. So it's got little stars in the bottom, a bit like what you use for de-stoning potatoes. So you pick it up and then it all spins around, fine soil drops out and the bricks stay in. So he's probably gonna take that and try it tomorrow. Quick to do the birthday bumper. I'm not gonna read them all out, but I will just mention Rhonda because she's the long suffering partner of Andrew Ward. So if you watch Wardy's weekly waffle, Rhonda's his partner. So there they all are. If you want to pause it if your name's on there. Happy birthday and anyone else who's not on there, it's your birthday, happy birthday. I've not had a chance to wash this off today because I went to go and watch a livery dog running. I forgot about that. But luckily, urea isn't like other fertilizers. It isn't corrosive. That's why they use it for de-icing at airports because it doesn't make planes rust away or it doesn't damage the, the reinforcing wire in the concrete on the aprons. And I think the runways are tarmac, but the aprons are obviously concrete. So. It won't catch any arm of the weekend. Probably do it tomorrow or maybe Monday. But yeah, it's not like nitrogen where it's just like salt and it's just eating in all the time. The lime's probably not ideal, but that, most of that was washed off anyway. Ammonium nitrate though, that you can also spread as a, as a nitrogen fertilizer. That is really corrosive. It's, it's, you may as well just put rock salt all over your spreader. Quick quiz question for you. What's that off? Now, Simon was here the other day and he had hold of it and he's got the same machine with them on it and he didn't know what it was off. So think, have a guess what you think that's come off. It's a worn one, but it's off a machine. So if you think you know, leave a comment below. Forgot to say, Rob's thinking of selling this. I think it's because he wants to buy a Merlot. So if anyone's interested in an MI16-205, get in touch. That's about it for a cold, wet Saturday. Thanks for watching. There's a guest outro and I'll see you tomorrow.